12 weeks out from the Vancouver Pro. Today, I am doing a refeed day because my weight loss rate has been moving along pretty quickly, which was fine at first, but now it keeps going. So I need to slow this down a bit. So I'm gonna add in some extra carbohydrate today. And I'm gonna walk you through all the current food selection that I do have and what I'm adding in addition. Okay, so meal one, what I did for the day is I just bumped my total calories by 20%, all from carbohydrates and just adding rice across my meals. It's as simple as that. I have a good amount of fiber already in my diet, so I'm not looking to add in more fiber by upping oats or anything, so just want easy digesting carbohydrate. So for meal one, what I have is 300 grams of egg white. This has my normal 50 grams of spinach and asparagus in it. I also add in 100 grams of rice and mix it in together and it has a habanero cholula sauce on it. One thing that hasn't changed either is I have like fiber tortillas to make my, my mini breakfast tacos. So I just leave that in for the day. Again, fiber is gonna hold constant. I also have 70 grams of oats and I mix in 100 grams of rice into this as well because the texture is fun and has 30 grams of pumpkin and 20 grams of whey protein in it too. Then I have next is 100 grams of blueberries. This is my first refeed day on prep. Body weight was moving down like four pounds a week these first couple weeks. I look like I'm on track for that again this week. So it's when I had in mind, like if I'm seeing that, I'm gonna add in this high carb day. And a 20% increase in calories is just a good starting point to see. For this meal, macros total wise on it is 70 grams of protein, 125 grams of carbs, and nine grams of fat. Right, we're at the gym now. So after meal one, I'm gonna have my, my intro workout, which I'm gonna talk about because there's 30 grams of carbs from maltodextrin in this and 15 grams of amino acids, essential amino acids. I also have a quarter teaspoon of salt added to my pre, a quarter teaspoon of salt added to my intra. So on the topic of salts and sodium, for my whole day, uh, I'm doing half a teaspoon of salt in each meal. And then I have this quarter teaspoon in the pre and intra, uh, it comes out to about additional five grams of sodium added to my meals, not counting what's coming from condiments or intrinsic in food. And so I've already increased sodium, uh, already in contest prep, keeps a little bit of fullness there as well. Also, I like to adapt to higher fluids, higher sodium intake. So once I get finally into like a peak week setting, I'm not already in such a low amount and I, it's too late to make that adjustment. So we're gonna hit leg day and then we'll get to my post-workout meal. All right, post-workout, just got done training with Renee. This is my my squat day, my Roger squat day. My other day I do a pendulum squat. So do uh, all quads first one day. So it's leg cinching, Roger's hip press, single leg, and then into my Roger squat. So a little bit more glute focused type of squat. See a leg curl and an RDL. That wrapped up, great session. Uh, move some numbers up, good pump because of these extra carbs probably. So now we're on to my post-workout meal, which is a big bowl of oatmeal. So I have 80 grams of oats and 60 grams of whey. And then I'm gonna dump into it 300 grams of rice. And that was up from 180 grams of rice from my normal dieting days that I've been doing. This uh, totals out to 65 grams of protein, 145 grams of carbs, and eight grams of fat. So I eat and drive this home. Then uh, we'll get on to our meal number three. Back home from training and I am still just in a lethargic mode from the workout. We are now at meal three. <laughs> so this is a, uh, I like this meal, it's a fun one. It's easy to and quick to put together, kind of an Asian chicken pineapple blend. So do 180 grams of chicken breast in this meal, 280 grams of rice, 110 grams of pineapple. I do a mixed veggie, so I have a pack of frozen spinach. Also a pack of mixed greens that has like uh, carrots and green beans and some broccoli in it and red bell pepper. It's got a few different things. So I, I mix that all together. Also use soy sauce, Jehu's Polynesian, which is excellent. If you're in the US, Walmart is usually the place where you find that. Then a little bit of sriracha for some spice. So for this meal, it's 65 grams of protein, 95 grams of carbohydrate, and five grams of fat. So pretty pretty low fat for this meal, but it is a, a tasty one. And it's a quick one because um, in this block of the day is when I try to really get productive again for work. So 
I can come in the house, I can prep it pretty quick, and then get right back over to my office and get back to work. Meal number four. So I have some energy and life back after that meal number three. So now I have my salad that I've had, gosh, I think I've been doing this for a couple years now. So it is 200 grams of romaine lettuce, uh, about 50 grams of tomato and onion as well. And that is topped with 165 grams of chicken breast, 100 grams of white rice, and also about 70, 70 grams of Brussels sprouts. So quite a bit of veggies in this meal. This really helps with appetite as well as I get into prep using G Hughes Polynesian sauce and some honey mustard and also a little bit of yogurt for my dressing in the salad. Now, after I eat my salad, I then go on to my dessert, which is 150 grams of strawberries and also been doing these for a long time for just plain rice cakes. Then I have a, a peanut butter powder that I mix with water and some stevia to put on these. All of this together comes out to be uh, 70 grams of protein, 70 grams of carbohydrates, and then 10 grams of fat. Last meal of the night, and if you've been following me, you've always seen this meal. It's one that I've just consistently do. And while everyone probably now owns, <laughs> where's that? Uh, Ninja Creamy. So I have my Ninja Creamy, which I have uh, 35 grams of Animal Way. This one's cookies and cream with 240 mils of unsweetened cashew milk, two stevia, and we use like four grams of sugar-free butterscotch pudding. Money, it's key right there. Um, then also have a oat cake, which is super hot. I'm gonna put it down. It's uh, 30 grams of animal whey brownie batter, 50 grams of oat powder, and then has six grams of cocoa powder in it, 30 grams of pumpkin, and just water mixed together. Bake in the microwave for three and a half minutes and it turns out like a cake and it's delicious. So this is my last meal, 55 grams of protein, 50 grams of carbs and 20 grams of fat. And I forgot to mention that I do have 15 grams of peanut butter in this meal as well. So rounding out the day, we come in and I'm gonna round this. It's, it's uh, 4,000 calories, 345 grams of protein, 525 grams of carbs and 50 grams of fat. That is my first higher carb day of prep. Not extremely high as we're gonna go a little conservative here and can always remember you can always add food back in but you can't go back in time and take food away, right? So rather be a little conservative and I can always adjust on the next few days if I need to. But for right now, we'll probably leave in this high carb day once a week and keep prepping. So thanks everyone for tuning in. If you have questions on my food or anything, leave them down below. I'll be happy to answer to them. And uh, if you want to follow my prep daily, check out the j3uuniversity.com forum where I post on there, my log, and all the full details of what I do. All right, talk to you all next time.